And this is the Cooler Master Master Box TD500, coming in a price tag of $145. At any point during the video, you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below. The design here is full of uniqueness. The front mesh design is a very cool 3D mesh that looks way cooler in person than it does online. The plastic around the mesh is also sculpted around the mesh, which just gives it tons of depth and detail, something that well, it's just a more premium touch. The side glass panel has these etched lines in them. This is a design element that you're either going to love or hate. I'm not crazy about it, but I know that like my girlfriend loves that. She thinks it's awesome. Now this either comes in black or white, both look awesome. For the included fans and RGB, included in the case is three 120 millimeter ARGB Cooler Master CF120s. The RGB on them is nice and vibrant. They're pretty bright, but don't expect high-end fan levels of brightness here or crazy as CFM, but overall very good. Now for the airflow temps and the overall noise level, while not under load with the build that I did, they said about 33 decibels, which is very, very quiet. Measuring in at 41 decibels, that's under load, but I don't have a ton of fans in this build and there's no radiator. So give or take some decibels, really depending on your build. And you can really understand, well, how much the differences between cases actually matters. So airflow here is really good as you would expect. That front mesh lets in a ton of air. The back exhaust also has more mesh below it, so it lets more airflow through than just what's going through that fan. Even under heavy load, no problems with temps. Now the airflow only goes the front, top, and back. We don't have anything crazy here going through like a back panel or the front panel or down below. But overall, it doesn't really need it because, well, it did great. And do keep in mind, that's with a 4090. Now cable management and ease of build is possibly one of the biggest pros of this Cooler Master case. From the easy access with cables on the top and bottom of the motherboard due to large cable management holes, the addition of three vertical cable management holes that are like that rubberized stuff, which I really like. These are for the motherboard connection and all of your other connections make this really, really clean and just very easy to cable manage overall. The pre-installed fans in the front have screws on the top two, but on the bottom one, just having shims to make it easy to remove uh, as it is, well, close to that PSU shroud. So that makes it super easy to remove uh, if you do wanna put your own case fans in there. The overall experience just never felt tight or cramped in any way. Now for space between the GPU and the front of the case, you have 16 inches of space for your GPU if you're not doing a front mounted radiator, which is tons of space for your graphics card. Even if you are doing a front mounted radiator, the 4090 comes in at I think a little bit less than 12 inches, which is ridiculous, but I mean, think about that. That's a ton of space inside the case even if you wanna do a radiator and a ton of fans. Speaking of that fan and radiator compatibility, let's talk about it. You can fit three 120 millimeters in the front or two 140s, and it can fit up to a 360 millimeter radiator or up to a 280 millimeter radiator in the front. Obviously, you can also do smaller than that. It's very strange how I said that. As for the top, you can fit three 120 millimeters or two 140s and up to a 360 millimeter or 280 millimeter radiator as well. And then for the exhaust, it's just a 120 millimeter as you would expect. But yeah, that's great. You got pretty much any configuration that you wanna build with this case, which is a good thing. Now for the fan and RGB hub, this actually comes with an RGB and fan controller with four fan slots and five three pin RGB connectors, which is pretty cool. For SSD and hard drive mounts, there is no included two and a half inch SSD brackets, but there are two mounting spots inside the case above the PSU and then two other mounting spots behind the motherboard where they typically are. There are also two removable three and a half inch hard drives slots. Overall, this is a super solid case with airflow, ease of build, and uniqueness in the styling. Although due to this, some are either going to love this case or hate this case, but I'll leave that up to you. Again, if you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you want to check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.